Can we hear it start up? Sure can. So it's a one piece tilt front end now. It's a 66 Fairlane. This is my office right here. Hi Randy, Bye Be Awesome Cars Forever. I'm here today with Rod Humphrey, our Humphrey Woodworking, and he's going to tell us about some upgrades on his 1979 Chevrolet K10 Custom Deluxe. Hi Randy, how you doing? We're doing good. And so, then I'd like to mention also that we did a previous video on this, and there will be a link to it, and uh, that's why we're doing telling about the upgrades today so Rod it's all yours all right I'd like to point out one special thing about this truck and that is that uh, when I bought this truck awesome cars forever was with me so Randy I appreciate your help <laughs> no yeah, problem it was, fun. It was uh, my pleasure yeah so that's part of the history of this vehicle you're, you're in it um, so uh, like Randy said it's a 1979 uh, k10 custom deluxe and uh, it's a numbers matching. It's still got the original uh, 400 small block. It's got the original uh, turbo 350, for better or worse. <laughs> yeah. Gas mileage is horrible. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty much all original, short of a couple of things that I've done to it. Um, but uh, real quick, we can just walk around and I'll show you. We'll start right here with the front grill. Not the grill, actually, but the nuzzles. Uh, if you look at the old video, which I encourage you to do, you'll see that the bezels are new, the headlights are new, and the parking lights are new. Cool. Uh, that's it for the front end right now. I'm still going to upgrade the grill, replace it. Uh, Keep walking around. I fixed the, uh, I didn't say I fixed it, but I had a, uh, a Marine pal that's a welder fix the tailgate. So that didn't used to work. The, uh, the hinge was completely blown out. So that's as good as new. A couple of dents in there, but uh, we're right. taken care of eventually. You can see overall it's. Uh, I mean, there's a little bit of rust here and there, but it's it's fairly rust-free. Yeah. Uh, the other door is, is quite a bit worse than this one. But, uh, we can take a look inside the engine, then we'll take a look inside the cab if you'd like. Sure. Okay, so a lot of a lot of dress up in here, um, but the first thing that I did of real importance is I switched from points to uh, EFI, uh -huh. the distributor. So don't have to worry about the points anymore. And that's that's well within uh, restoration standards, I would oh, think. Yeah. Um, Without a doubt. Put a little bit thicker wires in there, just eight millimeter. Um, cleaned it up some. I've swapped out the intake manifold. It's near original, a little bit better. and I. I Apologize, I can't remember the difference between this one and the other one. Um, other than the other one, I believe was Edelbrock. This is a Holly. 
Uh -huh. So that should tell you something. And uh, also swapped out the carburetor. Same carburetor, just uh, in better shape. I know I could have rebuilt the other one, and I still can. I have it, but uh, externally, it's not as corroded. So I thought it. I thought that looks good, looks good. A good thing. Uh, new air cleaner. Uh, that's about it in here. It runs great, which uh, I'll I'll crank it up for you in a minute. Um, what else? Well, obviously the the valve covers and all the you know all the lipstick that. Uh, covers the 400 small block pig um, yeah you know what I mean oh yeah so a little stuff here and there but I've done more work in the cab than I have in the engine compartment first thing on both sides listen to how the door shuts just solid no rattle and that's just a matter of uh, oops just a matter of replacing the bushings it was just that easy, but of course I replaced I replaced the whole post because it was rusty and a mess. But uh, that just makes both doors shut better. Very good. Uh, so the whole uh, door panel, the, the skin, the pads, everything. If you look at the old video, you'll see the difference. It's striking. Uh, everything's new, from the switches to the to the panel to the dress up. Um, and then over to the right, uh, the gauge bezel is new, and all of the gauges are new old stock. So they're original. You can see I, I replaced the uh, odometer uh, 371 miles ago. Yeah. But I really like the look of the old gauges, so I just stuck with those. I considered going electronic. Um, just something about the the original look I think I think uh, you appreciate that don't you Randy without a doubt yeah. it looks really nice in here it looks a lot better oh and the the console between the seats um, let me go to the other side So the old one didn't have cup holders, and I'm a coffee holic, so I had to have cup holders. Can't blame me for that. Yeah, and this thing locks. Very nice. Yep. Very nice. Other than that, uh, it's a work in progress, and. Uh, Randy, I appreciate you encouraging me all the time to stick with it and keep it going. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, let's hear it run real quick. All right.
said, I would encourage everybody to look at the previous video. I'll try and put a link in there to it. And Rod, I appreciate you letting me do the upgrade on this. Or the, uh, the upgrades on this. I appreciate you, brother. And uh, I appreciate all my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, I'd appreciate you subscribing. And we'll see you next time on Awesome Cars Forever. Thanks.